you are looking to buy, sell or swap RuneScape GP, check out RS.Gold. They give you the best rates at a very fast respawn time. Their customer service is also very friendly and is there for you 24-7. Their company also hosts RS Jackpot which is a case opening website. You can earn some fast old school RS or RuneScape tree items. Then again you can use the coupon code NOOBS for a 5% discount so definitely make sure to do that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on my own server Immortal667. Now before we get into this video, I first of all want to thank all of you guys for the support on Immortal. It has been amazing so far. In the first two weeks, we managed to peak at 48 players, which I definitely did not expect to get. Anyways, I also want to tell you guys, if you are not subscribed yet, to make sure you are subscribed and also turn on the notifications so you get notifications of further videos. And anyways, I am going to go on with the video. As you can see, I am wielding new weapons, which are the Lava Glaives. Now, we have three kinds of Glaives. We have the Lava Glaives, then we have the Crystal Glaives, and we also have the Water Glaives. Now, the Crystal Glaives are the worst of the three. Those are just green. They match with the Crystal Wings, for the people who don't know. Um, I will take out the Crystal Wings real quick so you guys see what the Crystal Wings look like. Um, but yeah, the, the glaives actually match uh, with the color of the crystal wings, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Then we have the lava glaives, which are better, and these match, of course, with the fire cape. They have the texture and everything, and then we have the water glaives, which have a water texture, as you can see. So yeah, that looks pretty dope. Alright, now for some of the people who don't know yet, there is this custom boss we have, which is the venomous snake. Now this boss was a hard boss, and it was able to be safe spotted. Now we kind of fixed that. So um, the boss now isn't super hard as it used to be, it's a bit easier, but we also fix the safe spots as you can see, oh we, I'm, I'm still dead though, but as you can see you can't run past these um, places so you can no longer safe spot the boss, but this boss drops the Draegor weapons which are super overpowered, so yeah, definitely worth grinding it for. Anyways, right now what I will be doing is go ahead and kill 100 of these um, venomous snakes. And hopefully we can get some insane loot. Of course, we are going to use god mode so we don't die. But as you can see, the um, the glaive here has a 6 hit um, attack. So yeah, that's super overpowered. As well with that, it has some really good stats. Um, that's why it's very expensive in game. So um, yeah, definitely worth to get these because these are, these are super overpowered. Alright, now we didn't get any loot in 100 kills of the um, Venomous Snake. However, I do want to uh, talk about some other stuff as well. Starting off with why my uploads are kind of inconsist inconsistent right now and why I have been gone for quite a, a long time. But um, for the people who didn't know, my first year of college started like a week ago. Um, I was really busy getting used to it, moving things to my dorm, setting everything up. But I can gladly say that my dorm is finally completely set up and um, I can move there right now. So um, yeah, I'm really happy I can mention that because that means I will have more time to put in developing the game. And also I have more time to put in uh, making videos for advertisement and everything. But besides that... I also want to talk about is a complete Slayer revamp. Now, for the people who don't know, Godkiller has been working on a Slayer revamp, and um, we have these Slayer boxes, uh, loot crates, basically. Um, so you have a rare chance of getting a Slayer loot crate from um, Slayer tasks, basically. Um, also, there have been some new items added to certain Slayer NPCs. Not this one, but for example, I think Dark Beast has a new um, item that you can get as. A rare drop so as you can see right there but you can get these um, loot crates from Slayer they are pretty uncommon it's like 1 in 300 but you can get some pretty nice loot from these as you can see you can get some um, demon horn boots Torva Cyrenix um, and then 566 of these lottery tickets which are 100 mil each and I got them just from 10 um, mystery uh, sleep uh, my bad from Tandal Slayer loot crate so yeah that's pretty dope anyways looking around I will be doing some more updates client sided especially this week I am working with a few people on this and uh, once this is done the clients will look even better we will have shift dropping and a lot of other really cool things and I am getting spammed on discord right now which is beautiful 
I am just joking. I don't like that. Um, but anyways, um, what I else I will be showing off, I guess, is uh, some more of the Slayer stuff. So um, yeah, there are some commands added. So instead of um, going to Slayer or at home, where you have to click on the cave or the teleport thing at home, um, to go to your Slayer locations, now there are a few teleports. For example, you have Slay Tower, which instantly will teleport you to the Slayer Tower. Now this speeds up just a few things. It will teleport you right here in between the Blood Fells, which by the way also have a chance of dropping this loot crate and then a bunch of other really cool things. Um, but you also have like Fram Dun and uh, Fram Dungeon. I uh, Fram Dungeon. What a noob owner am I if I don't even know the commands, jeez. So yeah, you have commands like Brimdung and stuff, which will then teleport you, of course, to the locations. So um, yeah, that's pretty nice. These commands will definitely help out going to your Slayer tasks a bit faster, make it a bit less annoying to actually find yourself uh, going around the, the map to find your Slayer monster. Now, there are still some things that will change with Slayer, like we will still add um, some more drops, I guess. Um, also, we are going to add a few new Slayer monsters pretty soon, which will be really nice. And um, then, of course, we will still have a look on um, working out on making a command, like if you type task, for example that you will actually teleport directly to your task to make Slayer even more um, profitable and faster and actually make it so you can enjoy Slayer a bit more anyways one last thing I want to talk about in this video is upcoming videos for Immortal now what I want to do on Immortal is make myself a new account a brand new account I won't spawn anything on it not even a rank not nothing I start completely from scratch and then basically do progress videos, make some gambling videos on there if I manage to buy a dice permit from another player uh, or do some other really cool things on there, some PVMing on a legit account and um, yeah, try to become one of the richest players maybe, try to become one of the best players, go for completion scape, all that cool stuff. So um, yeah, if you guys like that idea, definitely make sure you let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, as you can see, once in a while, people actually host events in game for example right now the moderator andrew is nice enough to host a drop party for all these players currently we have 32 online i don't know if this is why he is doing a drop party but um yeah once we peak at 50 plus players we will host a giveaway on a video as well so yeah definitely make sure all of you guys join because if i manage to make a video while there are 50 plus players online i will be hosting a giveaway so yeah definitely invite all your friends make sure everyone comes online so i can do that giveaway and uh, give something back to you guys because yeah it's always nice for you guys to get some free stuff in game Anyways, this is where I will end off today's video guys. I hope you guys did enjoy once again a smaller video now If you did make sure to share this video around we want to get immortal booming guys We want to get over 50 players at least by the end of the week We should be able to hit even over 60 players online now that would be kind of insane Let's be honest here but um, yeah, if we manage to hit that, I would absolutely love all of you guys. And I'll be definitely hosting a giveaway on my future videos uh, if that would be possible. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And holy shit, what is Vos his luck, man? The fuck? Damn, that is super lucky. I think he just got four imbued Torva pieces in one inventory. Just too bad it was three of them were um, helms. But still, that's super lucky, man. Kind of insane, but yeah. Anyways, this is where I'll be ending off the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smash the like button. And I'll be catching you guys in the next video. Peace.